Hey, hey, you guys, it's your favorite little keto goofball diamond, and today is day 1672 of my ketogenic journey, I think. Going from 311 pounds, a little short fat ball, literally 52 inches around and 52 inches tall, I think. I think that's the measurements. Anyway, I did a thing. I did a big thing. I did a scary thing, a terrifying thing, a horrifying thing, and it, it's also an exciting, wonderful thing. I'm not real sure what kind of thing it is yet, to be honest with you, but it was a thing. <laughs> it was a big life-changing thing, so we're going to talk about it in keto, too. All right, you guys, if you're interested in an insane, silly little keto girl life, here you are. <laughs> you're in the right spot. So, like, subscribe, share, ring that bell, and lay that dag on, anchor down, and and stick around I need you anyway y'all y'all <laughs> it's time to rant rave and misbehave keto diamond style and there's always an audience but that's okay I love them So I did a thing, a shocking, scary thing. Let me just rip that bandage off and show you the thing. It's the thing. <laughs> this might be Karina's new car. I don't know. We're just here to check it out, test drive it. Price is pretty good. 05, 144 on the miles. Not a bad looking little car, to be honest with you. You have to see how it goes. A little tiny SUV. <laughs> I kind of like that. <laughs> I was looking at a little Mini Cooper. This is the one I was looking at. Uh, won't be getting it, I'm sure, because it won't be here by the time I actually have the money to get it. But, Countryman. That's cute. It's a nice little car. Anthony's over there arguing with him. Oh. I'm going to film it for YouTube. <laughs> for my channel. <laughs> it is. It's so cute. Oh, probably shouldn't see my little taggy thing. I don't think it matters. It's 30 day. Look, 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 look. Let me show you the front end. My husband and son are sitting there right now. I gotta get run over by a car when I get a new car, you know. Ew, I can get a glamour tag, y'all. What do you think, a diamond or a skull? <laughs> oh my God, I got a Mini Cooper. <laughs> sure did. Uh, I can't even believe I got a Mini Cooper. I'm a truck girl. I was on a Toyota Tacoma. Saw that little thing and was like, oh, I got to have this. This must be in my life. And it, I didn't really expect to get it, to be honest with you. Um, I ain't had no money down. I told him, you know, my husband's out of work right now. He had surgery right now. She's my paycheck. And he's supposed to be getting a, a short-term disability check from his insurance at work. But it ain't happened yet. So I told him about that, right? I told him. I told him all about it. And I was like, well, what the hell? I'll put it in for credit and see what the hell they say. All they can say is no, right? They called me this morning and said, hey, you want to come pick up a Mini Cooper? I was like, what? For real? Are you serious? You're playing with me. Nuh-uh. Yeah, huh <laughs> It's sitting in the yard. It's sitting in the freaking yard. Um... I'm excited, I'm happy, I'm terrified. Let me tell you about the terrified part. Yeah, yeah, y'all know when you do the big will and deals and you're like, yeah, 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 holy crap, wait, this is expensive. Oh my God, can I afford this? I mean, this is a long-term, this is a contract. This is something I have to do for years and years. This is not today, tomorrow, next week. This is years. <laughs> this is years of my life that I'm agreeing to work away to pay for said things with wheels that, that might not last long enough for said things with wheels. Uh, uh, uh oh, uh, and hubby's not working right now. He won't be working until mid March at least. Can I do this? I don't know if I can do this. Now yeah, I'm definitely terrified because, along with that, like before I could even go do anything with the little Cooper, I had to go get two new tires on hubby's car because one of them did whoosh. And at first I was like, I don't know what happened, but yeah, I do. The other week, um, or last week when I went to get to 
that whole IUD thing. I hit a curb. I hit the hell out of that curb. I didn't slightly hit that curb. I popped that curb. You know, that's what happened. But the other one had a nail in it. <laughs> so, you know, but that's okay because we have discount tire and discount tire. If you pay for the insurance on your tires, um, they fix them no matter what you do to them. Problem is one of them was completely wore out. But right now I've got three brand new tires on that car. Um, one's not, the other one's not old and I haven't hit anything with it yet. Uh, but the three brand new tires on that car. And out of those three brand new tires, I paid like 120 bucks to get them replaced. 120 bucks to get three tires replaced. So that's not too bad because we had the insurance and two of them was covered under the insurance completely. And one of them was a little wore out, so I had to pay the $120. Yeah. <laughs> But that costs money, and then I have to pay his insurance and stuff this week, so I'm starting to panic now. Now, now that I've done it, now that I've signed everything away, and now that I've, now that I've got that outside, the panic has set in. In fact, it's seriously when I walked in that place after they told me I could get it, and I done signed all the papers at the finance company. Then I went over to the uh, the place where the car was to hand him the check and sign their papers. I'm like, I was literally shaking. My legs were shaking. My hands were shaking. I was shaking. I was scared. <laughs> like. Because, like, hubby's always done all the car buying before. I never pick up a car. I just, I don't even want to get them most of the time because it's a car payment. You don't really have a nice new car. You have a nice, shiny car payment. <laughs> you get to sh drive a shiny car around until you break it. <sighs> I did the thing. Now I'm scared. <laughs> I'll be fine. That's what I keep telling my brain. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. What if it's not? But it is. It is. Just calm down. You got this. Dude, I got a Mini Cooper. <laughs> the hell am I going to do with that thing? Other than drive it. But I got a Mini Cooper. With six speeds. I love it though. It's fast. Got a lot of bells and whistles on it. A whole lot of buttons. I don't know what the hell they do. <laughs> I'm an old pickup truck girl. Literally, my other truck out there is a 93 S10. Okay? I didn't, don't have bells and whistles on it. It's headlights and, and a radio. And sometimes the heat. <laughs> it's, I blew it up. So, you know, technically all red, he ain't running. Um, damn, all the cars right now are red. Because I signed over the minivan, at which was kind of crappy now, and wobbles. I couldn't make it stop wobbling no matter what I did. Uh, it knew everything, and it still wobbles. So now they can fix it. And then they're going to come get my old blazer, too, which has just been sitting over there, rotting away, literally got four flats and a dead battery. Still runs if you, you know, put tires and battery in it. Sold my S10 too. Uh, I haven't sold it, sold it yet, but the kid wants it really bad and he's going to come get it in a few weeks. So, <laughs> hey, 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 goodbye. Out with the old and in with the new, right? Um, still got a whole lot of household stuff that needs to be done, like a ton, like a billion, trillion, quadrillion things. But in all fairness, Hubby's car needs a minute. <laughs> it, it needs some, some uh, maintenance done to it. it. It's got to the point where you have to beat the dash to get the heat to come on. The heat comes on, but the fan won't. That's got to be fixed and some other things, but <sighs> calm down and relax. Just that's, that's the hard part is just to bring it down here, you know, and I know there are things going on in the world right now. We ain't even going to touch those because it ain't going to do us no good. Not a lick. Not a lick. You just, you, no. When it just mm -mm. go away. Just psh. Because y'all know that's going to affect prices and everything's going to go up and we're going to be broker. And now I've got a new car and I'm going to be broker. Damn. <laughs> uh, I'm scared. I'm genuinely terrified because I bought a new car. Isn't that not crazy? It is crazy, but it, it's, I'm a little scared. Okay, okay. So you know what, Keto, yesterday I did really, really great um, at first. Um, didn't do bad later. What did I do? hell did I eat? You ever been like that where you forgot what you ate from one day to the next? I think that's about being in our 40s or something, but what did I do? Oh, oh, I did another thing. Oh. Or as Lucy would say, eh, I did that really bad. But <laughs> last night, we got home, we're chilling. Corey got her new car. Congratulations to my baby girl. She got her first one. Um, hers is paid for, though. She paid for it outright, tax money, you know, thank goodness. That is a big help when you have young children. Unfortunately, I do not. Well, fortunately and unfortunately. Because, you know, the thing. But, um, she bought hers outright. 
paid for, done deal. Got a cute little sucker. Cute as it can be. She got her an 05 Kia Sportage that looks almost brand new. I mean, you roll up to any car lot and buy it and be happy with it, even with payments. So, it's paid for. Bought and done. Hopefully, it lasts her many, many years. It's a good car. Like I said, she's just now getting out on own a little bit and, and learning to do things and enjoy things. Like, I've always told my kids, one of the best, most freeing things is having your driver's license. And if you want to leave, you can leave. And I don't mean like your spouse or whatever. I mean, just like, if you need to get out of the house for five minutes, one of the best things ever is to cruise down that daggone road, turn that radio up, and just be bop along. Sing your heart out, sing your guts out, whatever. And it makes you just feel so much better. It's such a huge stress reliever. Um, so I'm glad she's getting there. She, she got her permit. She got her a car. Now, when she's had a permit for a little while, she can go and just cruise her little heart out, you know, and get her license and all that. And so I'm very happy about that. I am. My son, he's doing great. That kid had to go sign the van over today because he sold me the van. Um, but I didn't bother taking it out of his name because he ain't never going to take it from me. And he didn't care about that van. No way. But um, I had left it in his name. So when I signed it over, he had to come with me. And he rode with me and the Cooper today and me and his dad. And, and he took us to uh, he took us to Wendy's. Not a big deal. Corey and Aaron brought us something home from Golden Corral. Mine is still over there in the toaster oven. I'm trying to leave that alone. It's the Bourbon Street Chicken. Y'all know how much I love that. It's one of my favorite foods ever. That and like shrimp and french fries. I don't, I'm trying to leave that alone. It, it's not super high carb, but it does have enough carbs in it that it could affect me. And I've done really, really well today. Like to the point I did not eat till 5 p.m. at all. And I feel fine. I'm very hyper. <sighs> Probably because I was today going nervous. But anyway. Um, oh, wow. I got off on a tangent majorly. It's nerves. That's all it is. I'm still like a nervous wreck. And I shouldn't be. It's already said and done now. But um, yesterday when we got home, uh, we did good earlier in the day. No problem whatsoever. I did have McDonald's, but it was uh, a double quarter pounder with cheese and a bun. It's gross. I hate McDonald's. I really do. The only thing they have good there is their regular cheeseburgers, their french fries, and some of their chicken nuggets. But... Mm, not a fan. Anyway, but that's all I ate. I had some pork skins uh, right afterwards because that really didn't fill me up. Just plain ones, just pork and salt. Came from a convenience store. I have no idea what brand. And uh, then we got home. Got all settled. Got all chilled. Power went out in the entire area. Called. It's going to be 8.30. So, okay, not too bad. We waited around. Waited around. Called again. 10.30. What? Called again? Oh, 11.30. Uh, uh, no, 1 a.m. Are you kidding me? So anyway, we left to get out of the house and do a little something. Brandon was with us because her and the baby were here and didn't want to leave them by themselves in the dark. And we went to Wendy's. Wendy's was closed. Went to Burger King. Burger King was closed. And, and mind you, this is about 8.30 at night. It's because they don't have no staff, you know? I was like, oh, great. Everything out there is closed except for McDonald's and Taco Bell. And I would already did the McDonald's thing yesterday and I'd about ra rather stab myself with a fork than do it again. I ended up just going over Taco Bell and I got a chicken and cheese quesadilla. As a result, I went up. Now, luckily, those, they do affect my weigh-ins. Sometimes, not always. If I eat them early enough in the day, they do not affect my weigh-ins. I'll stay the same. I won't drop, but I'll stay the same. But late at night, I went up a little bit. And um, they don't make me feel bad. That That's one good thing about them. I don't feel icky, sicky, headachy, bloated, a little fatter. My pants are a little tighter, but I'm not like a beach ball. So, I went ahead and went with that. And I hated it, but <laughs> necessary evils. Couldn't cook. Couldn't go nowhere else. Stuck. So, just ate it. Not proud. But I'm going to go ahead and show you the weigh-ins from yesterday and today so you can see it. But today was much better. Wednesday morning, 165.2. I'm having a piece of string cheese. I'm going to have one of these no-sugar keto cups with my collagen coffee. Not real sure why, but that's what I'm doing. Thursday morning, 168.4. So up uh, and round. And I got up this morning with the idea of I'm not going to eat most of the day. I'm going to fast as long as I can. And that's what I did. I fasted till uh, like 5.04 p.m. today, and uh, which is good because we had a lot to do. And literally it took all day. So <laughs> I was ready for that meal when I had it, although it wasn't very satisfying and I didn't really enjoy it too much. I've had it quite a bit, to be honest with you. Um, and that, I did go out tonight, I went to Food Line, trying to avoid Walmart, their prices are outrageous, everybody's prices are outrageous, so I might as well support a local business and 
go to food line, you know? Um, so that's what I did. I went to food line. I got some two liters for work, stuffed them in the trunk, got hubby some drinks for work for while I'm gone and some chips and stuff that he's going to mess around with while I'm gone. And I got me some, uh, TGI Friday's Buffalo wings. And as long as I stick to one box of those, they seem to be fine. Two or three, <laughs> not a problem. That's a problem. Um, let me let Jake in. Probably a little rainy out. So here I is trying to be on my best behavior today. Um, and I, I've done well. I have. I didn't even have a cheese stick hit this morning. Nothing. Uh, just my cup of coffee and my Diet Dr. Pepper all day long. And I wasn't bad. I wasn't like sickly hungry or nothing like that. So it worked out just fine. I got to go to work a little early in the morning in the mini cooper. It's going to be fun. Um, but yeah, I got to go to work tomorrow uh, at 630 instead of 7. Sorry, but they announced mandatory overtime, which means coming up, we'll be going in at 5 a.m. and getting off at 7 p.m. 14 hour work days. I'm not happy about that. I'm not excited about that. I don't want that. But now I have a car payment, so I might want to take my ass to work and shut my mouth. Right? <laughs> and that's just the way it is. Because I got other bills to pay, too. Because now we got two car payments. But the other one, that the, the Dart, um, he got a really great deal on it. Got it really inexpensive. So um, that car payment's nothing special. It's nothing you wouldn't speak, spend most weeks anyway. So this is just no more than I'd spend at Walmart on groceries. But, a gas. Oh, gas. I will say that van was a gas hog, so y'all can have it. I'm just none. Because, like, I put $35 in it in two days. Didn't go that day on far. And the gas light was on when I surrendered it. So, or surrendered it. Signed over the title, whatever. Um, no, I'm not, I'm not sad to be short of that. I'm not going to be sad to short, be short of the eyesore in the yard of, called the blazer either. So, I, I'm good with all of that. I don't want to go to work tomorrow. Tough, girl. Tough. You got to go to work tomorrow because, you know, you got to eat. You got to pay the bills. You got to do this. You know, that's how that works. Don't mean I got to want to or like it. Who <laughs> does it? Um, I'd like to talk to y'all about something of more substance today, but that's pretty much what I've got. That's what I did all day. That's what I did all yesterday. I am still struggling with staying on track, especially when things throw me for a loop, like power outages and stuff there are other options if your power goes out there are so many other options uh could have went to food line and got like a little homemade salad or walmart either one could have gotten like you know some other stuff that was pre-made and pre-cooked there are other options but i had a family with me so it was like okay well yeah okay no no wendy's uh, green's closed too McDonald's or taco bell y'all please don't say McDonald's. um so you know, it is what it is. That's what we do. I got an adorable outfit yesterday. I will say it's actually really, really cute. Um, it's daisies. And it's really high-rise jeans. They're like really high-rise jeans. Like, I don't even know if they made them this high in the 90s, 70s. I, I, I don't know. These are really high-rise jeans. These are practically under your boobs. Throw a little strap on them. You can just hold your boobs up and not even wear a bra. Oh, my nose tickles. Sorry, y'all. But, yeah. Well, I guess tomorrow's a work day. So, I should shut up and get this uploaded and get ready to cruise in the morning. Oh, it's got the headlights, y'all. I want to tell you, it's got the headlights. I'm blind at night. I can't see a damn thing. Them headlights are great. They're great. I'm like, oh, you don't even need the bright lights on. They're great. So, I'm happy. I'm scared, but I'm happy. And it's a good thing. Right? It's a good thing. Pretty. Uh, for any of you who are curious or your car people, I got the Mini Cooper Cooper S Countryman. It's got a lot of words to it, to be honest with you. A lot. But it's cute. It's 2014, so it's not brand, brand new, but they're expensive. They're crazy expensive. And I got mine under cost. I saw it before he saw it. I was like, why are you charging that much for this? But I got checking it out. It's fun. It runs great. And then, went, like, we went back in. His finance guy had called him and said, Dude, you've got that listed for $3,000 less. He's like, Well, I've already given her the price now. And she's interested in it. So they sold it to me for what they said they'd sell it to me for. I was like, yeah. Still expensive. But still cheaper than it would have been, right? Cheaper than the truck would have been, for sure. So, still want the damn truck. Mm. <laughs> One thing at a time. One day at a time. Same with your ketogenic journey. 
one day at a time. You get what you get and you don't put your fit. Because <laughs> sometimes blessings are blessings and <sighs> that's it. <laughs> All right, you guys, if you need help with your ketogenic journey, I'm here for you. I'm here for you every single day. I will answer my emails just like I always have. If you need help with your macros, you need help with understanding something that's going on with your body. If you need help with some of the medical paperwork that, that might be confusing, cholesterol stuff, I'm glad to help you. If you need help with electrolytes and all that, I am so glad to help you. I help everybody for free. My contact information is below. I also designed a website, wrote it and designed it with everything I could think of that will be helpful for you. Written out, plain, simple, easy to read and free. So ketodiamond.com, it's a free foods list and everything over there. It's nothing you have to sign up for or anything. It's just all information written out for you, plain and easy. Um, it's got a products page. If you're interested in anything that I use, it's, it's over there. And there's also links down in the description that will tell you some of the things I use and would recommend. You don't have to have any of those things except for your regular groceries, meat, cheese, eggs, green leafy vegetables. But it's down there if you're interested and you're curious. There's some great ways to support the channel too, which would be very appreciated at the moment. Uh, not necessary, but it would be appreciated. Um, Amazon wishlist and all that good stuff's down there. Contact me if you need me. Much love. Many prayers. Make your next milk keto. Keep pushing. No matter how hard it gets, you got this. Bye, y'all.